I'm, uh, I'm Tanya Lacey, I'm a singer songwriter from Bristol and um, I've been, I moved to London four years ago and I've been working really hard on my, my own material I also write for other artists like um, J-Lo, Will I Am, The Saturdays, Little Nicky, Maxter, like a lot of, I work with a lot of artists um, which is great because I get to meet new, different, new people and um, create something different all the time as well as doing my own project. My style is bold, daring, and unique. I think as an artist, I definitely want to push as many ba um, barriers as possible. Um, as, a, as a person, I'm quite flamboyant naturally with colors and cuts, and uh, I'm not really afraid to wear anything. If I can work it, then I'll wear it. The music came first for me, so the clothes only enhance what I'm doing musically. Um, for me, my music is quite um, uplifting, and so it's, it works with me wearing bright colours. It kind of goes together well. So my new single is called Now That You're Gone. It's um, a slightly different type of mood and vibe to it compared to the other music that I've put out. It's quite. Um, it's, it's about a bittersweet relationship with a person that went, that went sour and it's about breaking free from that relationship and being strong, um, being strong enough to do that in the first place. Um, the, the mood of, and the theme of the video is quite dark in comparison to a lot of the other stuff I've done, which was fun because um, the last thing I'd ever want to be is sort of typecasted as a singer who only does one type of thing. Um, so yeah, it was really fun to do something different and fresh for the video. Fine, I know that you got no spine And this wasn't your first time It's the last time with me Cause I see right through you And all that you do Just another frozen heart I think it was definitely a, a, a massive turning point Working with someone like Willem and, and J-Lo And having them, I guess, co-sign my writing my writing so that, that kind of gave me more credibility as a top line writer um, which was amazing and such a it's such a, um, a blessing to have that especially when you're starting out so yeah I think I think that and to have um, the Rolling Stones like to have um, oh, what's his name? Mick Jagger Mick Jagger sang my lyric in, in the hardest ever and that's like that's pretty epic because I'm, I'm just a girl from St. Paul's in Bristol and Mick Jagger is singing my lyrics and that is the biggest co-sign for me ever. I think I definitely am a high street charity shop vintage girl. Um, I do love high end though, I love high fashion, just because it's so daring and um, and that's what I try and incorporate with my own style. But I think, you know, it's all about um, finding something that works for you. Not a lot of high-end stuff works for everybody. It depends on your body shape as well. So, yeah, I just, I do, I do me. Um, but yeah, I like to try on whatever, whatever is the most disgusting outfit, I like to try it on. Um, I think humble beginnings are definitely the best type of beginnings. From my experience anyway, I don't take anything for granted, I never grew up with money, so I've had to work very, very hard for everything that I've achieved, and um, my parents have amazing work ethic, they both had more than two jobs at a time, trying to just stay above water, not even living comfortably, so I learned a lot about what it takes to, um, to make it, and, and my work ethic comes from them, so yeah. You have to, you have to really, really focus, and it's so easier said than done. But doing what I do, it takes a lot of sacrifice. You know, you, you're not going to be out all the time, and there does come a point where sometimes friends will stop calling or inviting you out because you're always in the studio and you're kind of off limits. So understanding what you're letting yourself in for. But if you love what you do, then those things, you know, are a given, and you and you accept that. Um, and I'd also say. Um, yeah, just work on your craft, get in the studio as much as you can, work with as many people as you can, just find your own identity and find your sound because it does take time. 
Oh, it was a really great show. I really loved her energy. She was like, she was amazing. Got a really great voice. I really loved her. I thought that she was amazing. She was a proper artist. She performed really well. Energy was on stage, and she looked banging. It's about it, really. It's me. My name's Sophie Mack. I'm a stylist and creative consultant. I'm based in London. I work. Uh, I do a lot of fashion-based kind of uh, editorial music. Um, yeah, and styling Tanya tonight, Tanya Lissy. I mean, for me, it was emotional because I've worked with her from the beginning, and I know how much hard work she's put into it. So she's obviously talented as hell, but because I know how much it means to her, it was it was incredible. Um, I, I felt like the show went really well. The crowd was amazing. Sorry, you got some fluff on your nose. The show was amazing. The energy of the crowd was amazing. Um, I'm just really happy right now. I'm really, really happy. And how do you feel about the fan reaction? Oh, I love it. You know, the best thing the best thing is hearing people sing your song back to you. There's nothing like it. You know, I'm very grateful for tonight.